Okay, students, this is a video in response to a question that I received from one of the um, students who uh, serve my website. Yeah? So this is a question that has to do with indices and logarithm. And the question is this. 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of y and it is equal to 6 to the power of z. And the question says express z in terms of x, y. Okay, it says express z in terms of x, y. Now, this is a pretty interesting question because everybody can see that 2 times 3 is equal to 6. However, you can't use 2 times 3 to equal to 6 in this question because there's a power x and a power y and power z there which obviously makes them a different value. So how do we then make use of this information? So you, if you notice, the power x, power y, and power z is the one that is in the way. We can form an equation between 2, 3, and 6. That is, 6 is equal to 2 times 3. So what we have to do is we have to find a way to get rid of the x, to get rid of the y, and to get rid of the z. So how do we do that? We uh, basically um, add something to the equation. So we say let, let, um, well, anything that you wish to, say a, is equal to 2 to the power of x and since they are all equal which means this will also equals to 3 to the power of y and equals to 6 to the power of z. All right. All right. So once you have the um, this new information where you let a is equals to 2 power x, 3 power y and 6 power z, here's how we're going to make use of the information. Yeah. Um, let's extract the equation one by one. A is equals to 2 to the power of x. Now, from here, right, remember, we're trying to get rid of the power x so that we can have 2 by itself. So how do you get rid of the 2 power x? This is a very, very useful technique that you can use in a lot of indices question, yeah? And the technique is this. Since we want to get rid of the power x, the logical um, method is to multiply. We want to make the x gone, so we will multiply it with 1 over x. Yeah, it's because power 1 over x, so then you can uh, cancel, then you can cancel the x and cancel this x, so that leaves you with 2 to the power of 1, right? Then, uh, you have to do the same thing on the left-hand side, so you have to times a with 1 over uh, x to the power 1 over x, right? So then you will have a is equals to... Um, Okay, so that's a to the power of 1 over x. Oh, let's write this back again. a to the power of 1 over x is equal to 2. So now, you have magically converted the 2 to the power of x into 2, and now it is a to the power of 1 over x. Right, then we do the same thing. We do the same thing here. 3 to the power of y is equal to a. So 3 is equals to a to the power of 1 over y because basically we multiply 1 over y uh, on both sides. Yeah, the power, their power. Then 6 to the power of z is equals to a as well. So then 6 is equals to a to the power of 1 over z. Now, can you see how you are able to make use of this information? 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So let's, let's write that out. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Um, well, let's um, put it a bit on top because I'm running out of space over here. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So now we substitute a to the power of 1 over x. Multiply with um, 3 is... Um, a to the power of 1 over y, that equals to, and 6 is a to the power of 1 over z. So now, I hope you are able to see a pattern where you can solve this. This is an equation of indices with the same base, a. So what can you do with the power? You may equate them directly. Um, when it is when it is multiplication, you add the power. So that means 1 over x plus 1 over y is equals to 1 over z. So from here, you can easily express x in terms of x, uh, z in terms of x and y. So let's make it the denominator the same. So you will end up with y plus x over xy is equals to 1 over z. 
So let's move it up here. So you're going to express z in terms of x, y. So what you have to do is to inverse the z because it's 1 over z. So let's inverse it. So when you inverse z, you basically inverse the other side as well. It's equals to x, y over x plus y. And you are done. We have successfully expressed z in terms of x and y. Right, so this is a neat little trick. Yeah, I hope this is able. Uh, your this this information is able to help you. The neat little trick here is this: How do you get rid of the power x over here? Just times with its inverse, and this works for any sort of um, indices question where you have to get rid of the power. All right, so I hope this helps you uh, to understand um, this question better. Um, I'll see you around.